another conceptual framework that can help an analyst better assess how a business may fit into the scheme of things is by understanding the stage of its industry life cycle. Before we do, let me ask, what do these three industries have in common? Fax machines, DVDs, and newspapers. They are all industries in decline. Industries have life cycles, just like products and businesses. Now, there are many exceptions, but in general, the industry life cycle typically looks something like this. We have a launch phase, followed by growth. You might even break this up into early and later stage growth. Shakeout is a period where a lot of established players are nearing their peaks and still enjoying relatively attractive margins. Some players will try different new things and fail or get consolidated. In other words, they'll shake out. Then comes a maturity phase where revenues stabilize before ultimately starting to decline. Growth has hit its peak, more and more consolidation is going on, and much less innovation is happening. Then, finally, industries start to decline. And here, there's generally a lot of consolidation. In fact, buying competitors or merging with them may be the only way to stay viable, since industry-wide revenue is declining rapidly, and organic growth is basically impossible. If we plot industry profits over this, you'll see it's negative early on, before peaking in the shakeout phase and eventually declining. Interestingly, cash flow charts a similar course, but it lags profit. And this makes sense. Cash investments are required through the launch phase to actually build the industry infrastructure. Then, as an industry grows, there's constant reinvestment to ensure continued growth. So cash flow tends to lag profits through to maturity, where investment and growth becomes minimal. So even though margins start to decline, cash flow tends to be quite strong. When analyzing a business, Understanding where the industry is in its life cycle, or rather trying your best to predict it, is really important, since this too will inform your projections. A company operating in an industry that's in decline should not be projecting significant organic revenue growth, for example. However, that same business should be making considerably less investment in R&D or in capital assets than it would if operating in a growth industry. So cash flow could still be strong, and relatively predictable. Industry research providers will typically include information and data in their reports to support your assessment of an industry's life cycle stage.